are determine the leading coefficient and the degree of the polynomial. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we didn't do any problems like this, right? But this might be something that shows up on your test. Well, so let's go back through and again and try to understand exactly what exactly is the end behavior of this, of this polynomial. Because the only thing, the only types of graphs that we talked about of similar end behavior looked like this, which was y equals x, right? Then they drew a straw like x and y axis here. So, do you guys see how these have the same end behavior? They both fall left and rise right. Does everybody see that? So what you need to do is go back and look at your notes and determine what was the leading coefficient and the degree when you had a graph that, fall, that fell left and rose right, or rise right, rise rose. This is going to be odd. And it's going to be degree is odd. And the leading coefficient is positive. Does everybody see what you're supposed to do for that? Yeah. That was it. That was done, right? They didn't ask for anything else, did they? Yeah. Oh, they asked, did they ask for um, determine the sign of the leading coefficient and the degree of the polynomial? Now, if you're trying to determine the degree of the polynomial, that is one thing you'd want to look at. So we know it's odd, right? So let's kind of look at these turning points. You basically have one, two, three, four turning points. Well, if the number of turning points is one less than the degree, and if I know the number of turning points, then I'd have to do what to get the degree? Well, if you, subtract, do the, you subtract one from the degree to get the number of turning points. If you're given the number of turning points to go to the degree, you would add one. So if I see there's four turning points, what is the degree? Five. And does that make sense for my degree to be odd? Yes, it does. So that's how you can evaluate to find the number of um, degrees. Does that make sense? Yes? OK. The last thing I just want you guys to understand about end behavior is, again, this idea. I just showed you guys end behavior like this. I gave you a function that you're familiar with. However, we're going to be looking at graphs and polynomials that you're not going to know. Like, look how crazy this graph looks, right? But the main important thing I want you guys to understand is it doesn't matter what the graph looks like. As long as the degree is odd and the leading coefficient is positive, it falls left, rises right. Falls left, rises right. It doesn't matter what the polynomial is. For all polynomials that have an odd degree and a positive co leading coefficient, the end behavior is the same. Falls left, rises right. OK? Anybody have any other questions?